Welcome to the KFC Cassette GPS. The only GPS system that is completely contained on one plain old cassette tape. Track one, an introduction. Calculating. Your current location is Colonel Sanders' grave in Cave Hill Cemetery. If you're not at my grave, you're at the wrong place, and you need to go to my grave for this to work. I don't know why you aren't at my grave, which should be your current location, but you're going to need to go to the location you're supposed to be located at in order for me to GPS you where you're going. Proceed to the route. End of track one. Track two. Louisville Mega Caverns. Your destination is the Louisville Mega Caverns. Your destination is 4.9 miles. You will arrive in 16 minutes. Assuming if you don't stop for anything. If you stop, it's going to take longer, and there's nothing I can do about it at the moment. Turn right onto Grinstead Drive. Stay on it for 0.7 miles. Recalculating. Just joshing. I don't need to recalculate, because this is superior to GPS. Turn left onto Baxter Avenue and drive 1.0 miles. Continue on to Newburgh Road and drive 1.1 mile. Turn right onto Trevilian Way and drive 0.8 mile. Turn left onto Illinois Avenue and drive 0.5 miles. Illinois Avenue in Kentucky? <laughs> what joker named that street? Turn left where there used to be that farm. You know, the one the Brandis has owned. You know, they had a bitter rivalry with the Winters going back generations and generations, but no one could remember why. Just that it'd be a cold day in heck before a Brandis would not actively try to destroy a Winter and vice versa, let alone try to lift a finger to help one. Uh, but that farm is gone, and the road is now called Taylor, so... Turn right on Taylor. You have arrived at your destination, the Louisville Mega Caverns. Y'all have fun in there. Go ahead and hit pause until you're done at the Louisville Mega Caverns. End of track two. Track three. Red River Gorge and stopping by a Woodford Reserve Distillery along the way. Your destination is... 57.6 miles. You will arrive at your destination in 57 minutes. Head northwest on Taylor Avenue toward Cadillac Court for 0 0.6 miles. You'll see it really is the Cadillac of courts. Turn left onto Poplar Level Road for 0 0.3 mile. Don't know if they called it that because you're on the level of Poplars or if it's more of a symbolic thing. The origins have been lost to time. Use the two left lanes to turn left onto the Interstate 264 East ramp for 0 0.3 mile. Merge onto I-264 East for 4.8 mile. Folks used to believe that going east was going back in time on account of the way the earth rotates. Folks used to be real stupid. Traffic ahead, probably. Use the right two lanes to take exit 19A to merge onto I-64 East toward Lexington for 41.1 miles. Take exit 53B to merge onto US-127 North Lawrenceburg Road toward Frankfurt for 0 0.3 mile. Merge onto US-127 North Lawrenceburg Road for 0 0.8 mile. Turn right on to Kentucky 676 East East West Connector for 3.1 mile. I love the name East West Connector because most roads that run east to west aren't connectors. Not this one. This road isn't lazy like most of these non connecting east west roads. Turn right on to Kentucky 1659 South, Glens Creek Road. Continue to follow Kentucky 1659 South for 7.8 miles. You have arrived at your destination, Woodford Reserve Distillery. Whatever you do, don't drink and drive. It's dangerous and stupid. Press pause until you're ready to continue on to your next destination.
Your next destination is Red River Gorge. Your destination is 92.4 miles. You will arrive in one hour and 34 minutes. Take a right from the distillery and continue toward Grassy Springs Road for 0.7 miles. Turn left onto Kentucky 2331 for 0.8 miles. Take a slight left onto Steel Road for 0.9 miles. Turn right onto U.S. 60 East for 14.0 miles. Along this stretch of road, there used to be a woman who would read your tea leaves and tell you your future. I quit drinking tea right then and there, so no one would ever be able to spy on the future me. Use the right lane to take the ramp onto Kentucky 4 South New Circle Road. Merge onto Kentucky 4 South New Circle Road for 10.8 miles. Use the right lane to merge onto U.S. 60 East Winchester Road via the ramp to I-75, I-64 Winchester for 2.1 miles. Use the two left lanes to turn left to merge onto I-75 North toward Ashland, Cincinnati, Louisville for 0.6 miles. One road to take you to so many places. Although, I I guess that's kind of what roads do, huh? Take exit 111 to merge onto I-64 East toward Winchester Ashland for 16.4 miles. Hmm, I-64 for... One, six, four. Hmm, that's spooky. Or just a coincidence. Who's to say? Use the two right lanes to take exit 98 toward Mountain Parkway, Campton, Prestonburg for 0.3 miles. Continue on to Bert T. Combs Mountain Parkway East for 32.3 miles. Along this stretch of road, I entered into a pact with a man about oil. He thought I meant petroleum, and I thought he meant cooking oil. That's when things really took a turn. Because of the amount of money involved, we both agreed it was a very silly misunderstanding, dissolved our agreement, and both had a good laugh about it. Calculating, recalculating, calculating again. I just like calculating. Take exit 33 from Bert T. Combs Mountain Parkway East. Turn left onto Kentucky 11 North for 0.1 miles. Turn left onto Kentucky 11 North, Kentucky 15 North for 1.5 mile. Turn right onto Kentucky 77 North for 5.1 mile. Where I'm from, we just call that just over a nickel miles. Turn right onto Kentucky 715 South. You have arrived at your destination. Here's a song about America being beautiful. It seemed appropriate for me to do a rendition of it for you while you gaze at the beauty of America. Oh, beautiful. For spacious skies. For amber waves of green. For purple mountains majesties I'm not sure what that means above the fruited plain America America God shed his grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea here's a verse nobody knows oh beautiful for pilgrim feet whose stern and passion stress a thoroughfare of freedom beat clear across the wilderness America
America. America. God mend thine every flaw. Conform thy soul in self-control. That's a lesson for all of us. Thy liberty in law. Ho! Oh! confirming any self-control myself right now, but <laughs> sometimes you gotta, just gotta let loose. <laughs> Hit pause until you've seen Red River Gorge and are ready to get back on the road. End of track three. Track four. Sanders Cafe. Your next destination is Sanders Cafe. Your destination is 82.7 miles. You will arrive in one hour, 57 minutes. Head southeast on Kentucky 715 South for 1.4 miles. Turn left to stay on Kentucky 715 South, just shy of a nickel miles. Turn left onto Kentucky 15 South, Kentucky 715 South, for 0 0.8 miles. Turn right onto Kentucky 715 South for 5.8 miles. Turn left onto Kentucky 11 South for 13.6 miles. Another road that's just Kentucky followed by a number. Where's the imagination in road naming, I ask you? Take Kentucky 399 North to Kentucky 30 West for 6.8 miles. Another one named Kentucky, followed by a number. I'd just like to point that out. They should have got me on that, so I could have named it something to do with my business. Something snappy, like KFC's Nashville Hot Chicken is Spicy, Smoky, Crispy, and Delicious Highway. Continue to Jackson County for 16.4 miles. Turn right onto Kentucky 30 for 18.7 miles. Seriously, could they have been more formulaic in their naming of roads? I've got a better one. How about KFC's original recipe is great fried chicken made with 11 herbs and spices parkway? And that's just off the top of my head. But do you hear how it rolls off the tongue? A whole lot easier. Turn right onto Hal Rogers Parkway for 1.7 miles. At least that one's got a name. I think I knew a Hal Rogers once. I think I ran over his foot with a tractor. Use the two left lanes to turn left to merge onto I-75 South toward Knoxville for 11.6 miles. Take exit 29 for U.S. 25 East toward Corbin, Barberville, U.S. 25 for 0 0.3 miles. Use the two left lanes to turn left onto U.S. 25 East South Cumberland Gap Parkway for 1.2 miles. Turn right onto North Cherry Avenue for 0 0.6 miles. Say, you think I should start calling right turns Rogers? Would that make me sound cool? Let's try it. Uh, make a Roger onto US 25 West South. No, that don't sound right. It may be cool, but it don't sound right. Turn right onto US 25 West South. US 25 West South? How can you go west and south? Hmm, have to look that one up. Anyway, that's better. That's more regal and GPS sounding. You have arrived at your destination, Sanders Cafe. Point of interest alert. Go ahead and hit pause until you're done at Sanders Cafe. End track four. Track five. Johnson City, Tennessee. Your next destination is... Johnson City, Tennessee. Johnson City is home to a lot of great music venues. 
You should stop by some of them and hear some music. One of them that's about 20 minutes outside of town is called the <laughs> On Thursdays, folks come from all around to play traditional Americana music. If you're there on a Thursday, and my calculations say you should be, it is absolutely not to be missed. I'm not going to give you directions to there, though. you got to find your own way. Your destination is 148 miles. You will arrive in 2 hours and 51 minutes. Turn left onto US 25 West North for 0.7 miles. Turn right onto US 25 East South Cumberland Gap Parkway, entering Tennessee for 45.8 miles. Sorry to have to take you out of Kentucky. Use the right lane to take the U.S. 58 East ramp, entering Virginia, for 33.8 miles. Turn right to stay on U.S. 58 East for 19.7 miles. It's kind of weird that you have to turn right to stay on the same street, but, well, it's a crazy world we're living in. Turn right onto U.S. 23 South, U.S. 421 South, U.S. 58 East. Continue to follow U.S. 23 South, entering Tennessee, for 20.8 miles. Take a slight right to stay on U.S. 23 South. Signs for I-26 East, Johnson City, Asheville, for 3.2 miles. Continue en route to I-26 East, U.S. 23 South, for 22.5 miles. Although why I need to tell you to continue en route is a bit of a mystery to me. Why would you stop en route? Anyway, as you merrily drive down the highway, let several me's serenade you with a royalty-free song about merrily making your way down a stream. Sing along if you know the words. Row, row, row your boat. Row, Gently down row, the stream. Row your boat. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Merrily, 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 your boat. Gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 your boat. Gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Merrily, 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 your boat. Gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. That's what I'm talking about. Take exit 23 for Tennessee 91 Market Street. Turn right onto Tennessee 91 Southeast Market Street for 0.1 miles. Turn left onto Colonial Way for 0.1 mile. It would have been better if they'd named it Colonel Way. Oh, they were so close. Turn right onto East State of Franklin Road for 0.3 miles. I tried calling right turns Rogers, and it didn't go well. What if I call left turns Louis? Think that'd fly? Let's give it a try. Take a Louis onto Buffalo Street and stay on it for 180 feet. No, I can't say I like that much either. Turn right onto Cherry Street. You have arrived at your destination, Johnson City, Tennessee. Hit pause until you're ready to go on to the next destination. End of... Track 5. End of side A. Flip to side B.
Track six, Rock City. Your next destination is Rock City. Your destination is 222 miles. You will arrive in three hours and 57 minutes. That's a long time. Head northeast on Cherry Street toward Buffalo Street. Turn left at Buffalo Street. Turn left onto West State of Franklin Road. Continue on to U.S. 11 East, U.S. 321 South, West Market Street for 27.6 miles. Turn left onto U.S. 321 South, North Main Street for 26.5 miles. You'll know to turn when you see where there used to be a barn. It burned down years ago, so it isn't there anymore, but you'll probably know the one I'm talking about. It used to be there where you're supposed to turn. Speaking of barns and birdhouses, along this stretch, there are some really enormous birdhouses that some people refer to as barns. They have signs all about your destination painted right on them. Some people think this attracts more birds into these massive birdhouses. Others say it's advertising for humans but I don't think science will ever truly know the answer. Proceed to the root. You remember where the root is, don't you? Well, just look for something that looked like a root and proceed to it. Turn right onto East Main Street, 0.3 miles. Turn left onto C Street, 492 feet. Turn right onto US 70 West, West Broadway Street. Continue to follow U.S. 70 West for 4.5 miles. Turn left onto U.S. 411 for 168,432 feet. That's 31.9 miles if you want to be obtuse about it. Continue on to U.S. 441 North for 12.1 miles. Use the right two lanes to take the ramp to Nashville, Lexington for 0.8 miles. Merge on to I-40 West for 19.5 miles. Keep left at the fork to continue on I-75 toward Chattanooga for 83.3 miles. While we're on this road for a stretch, how about a song about flying? Here's a little song about air traffic control. Oh, say... Let us fly, dear. Where, kid? Huh. To the sky, dear. Oh, you flying machine. Jump in, Miss Josephine. Ship ahoy. Joy, what a feeling. Where, boy? Huh. Up to the ceiling. Oh, hi. Hoop. La, we fly to the sky so high. I'll tell you what, I never had a flying machine for real when I was a boy. But I did take an old refrigerator box that someone had left in the yard. And, well, I put two wangs on it with some more cardboard and some masking tape. And I used to take my friends inside and, well, we'd poke our feet out the bottom and run all around the yard. And that was my first experiment with transcontinental flight. Josephine and my flying machine going up she goes, up she goes. Balance yourself like a bird on a beam in the air. She goes, there she goes, up, up, a little bit higher. Oh my, the moon is on fire. Come Josephine and my flying machine going up, up and good one. You may not have heard it. Oh, that reminds me. All that talk of flying reminded me that we were talking about birds over 100 miles ago. Well, while we're on the subject of birds, I thought it would be useful to give some information on some of the local birds in the area. Everyone loves hearing a majestic bird. Bird listening is one of the common great joys of travel. So, as your guide, here are some native birds you should keep your ears open for and that you might be lucky enough to hear at some point. 
The brown thrasher sounds like this. The Northern Cardinal sounds like this. The northern mockingbird sounds like this. Although he's a mockingbird, so he could be sounding like just about anything. Good luck and good listening on your bird listening adventure. Use the two right lanes to take exit two for I-24 West toward Chattanooga, Birmingham for 0.6 miles. Continue on to I-24 West for 4.7 miles. Take exit 180A to merge onto Rossville Boulevard toward Tennessee 8 North. Merge onto Rossville Boulevard for 0.5 miles. Turn right onto Central Avenue for 1.6 miles. Turn left onto East 3rd Street. Turn right onto Lookout Street. While you're there, look out. Turn left at the first cross street onto Riverfront Parkway. Turn left onto Chestnut Street for 0.3 miles. Turn left onto West 4th Street for 0.1 mile. Turn right at the second cross street onto Market Street for 0.7 miles. So instead of going a full mile, only give it about 70% of a mile. That's the way I figure. Turn right onto 
West 12th Street for 269 feet. Turn left onto Broad Street for 2.1 mile. Signal lost. Just kidding. We don't have a signal. Turn left onto Tennessee Avenue for 0.4 mile. Continue on to St. Elmo Avenue for 341 feet. Turn right onto Tennessee 58 South, entering Georgia, for 2.2 miles. Continue on to Red Riding Hood Trail. Turn left onto Mockingbird Lane. I wonder if it's that same Mockingbird we heard from earlier. You have arrived at your destination, Rock City, USA. Go ahead and pause the tape until you've seen your destination and want to get back on the road. End of track six. Track seven, Old Car City. Here's a song that's usually played in the seventh inning stretch. And since this here is the seventh track, you can see how it fits perfectly. so many fond memories of going to stadiums big and small all over the country and you know when you're sitting there holding a, a thing of popcorn and uh, watching the game and a fella hits a, a line drive and everyone stands up and cheers so that's a great moment isn't it of course you got to be careful not to spill your popcorn or your drink or whatever on the person in front of you i had that happen more than a few times anyway it is one two three strikes you're out at the old Your next destination is Old Car City. Old Car City is the world's largest classic car junkyard. Your destination is 77.1 miles. You will arrive in one hour and 15 minutes. Continue on to Mockingbird Lane for 0.1 mile. Turn right onto Red Riding Hood Trail, entering Tennessee, for 0.7 miles. It is kind of weird to think about what happened here that someone would think it was a good idea to name this here road after Little Red Riding Hood. Well, it's a mystery. Continue on to Tennessee 58 North for 2.2 mile. Turn right onto St. Elmo Avenue, entering Georgia for 1.7 miles. You are about to enter Georgia. Georgia is called the Peach State, but I think they should call it the Georgia Gold Chicken State. Some would say it's redundant to have the name of the state itself be in the nickname, but I disagree. It would remind people that Georgia Gold Chicken is available at KFC, and that's about the finest accomplishment a nickname can accomplish. Continue on to Georgia 193 South for 2.6 miles. Turn left onto Georgia 2 East Battlefield Parkway for 4.7 miles. Continue straight to stay on Georgia 2 East Battlefield Parkway for 6.3 miles. <clears throat> Turn right to merge onto I-75 South for 56 miles. It's always kind of satisfying when the distance is even like that. Exactly 56 miles. How about that? <laughs> None of those messy tenths of a mile. <laughs> Take exit 293 for U.S. 411 toward Chatsworth White. Turn left toward U.S. 411 North for 335 feet. Slight left onto U.S. 411 North. Destination will be on the right in 2.2 miles. You have arrived at your destination, Old Car City. And would you look at that? 
Ingenuity, like old Car City, makes me swell with pride for our nation. In fact, I'm so full of pride, I just might burst into song. Well, you're a grand old flag. You're a high-flying flag. And forever in peace may you wave. about chicken should all acquaintance be forgot keep your eye on the grand old flag that's pretty good until you're ready to get back on the road. End of track seven. Track eight. The Big Chicken. Your next and final destination is The Big Chicken in Marietta, Georgia. For your final destination here, we're going to take it back even further. Go really old school. You're going to have to use the original GPS. Other humans. That's right. No looking at screens or maps. Ask some people how to get to where you need to go. So get out there and ask, how do I get to Marietta, Georgia? Then, as you get closer, you can ask where the big chicken is specifically. You might find that getting out and talking to people is the greatest technology of all. I mean, after my GPS cassette, that's probably the greatest technology of all. But you should experience the second greatest all the same, if only to appreciate better the first greatest. So get out there, talk to people, and find your way. Hit pause until you're finished at The Big Chicken. End of track eight. Track nine. The end. Sadly, this is the end of the GPS cassette tape, and thus your road trip. You might be saying to yourself at this point, but Colonel Sanders, is there ever even such a thing as the end? And I have to tell you that, well, yes, there are ends, plenty of them. And you can try and be philosophical about it, but being philosophical about something like that is kind of pointless. Sometimes things just can't go on. You'll always have the memories of the GPS cassette tape and the magical time you've had. End of track nine. End of road trip.